Now on the uh, Review License Commission meeting, um, first order is uh, approval of the minutes of August 17th, 2016. I'll make a motion to approve that. Is there a second to that motion? I'll second the motion. All in favor say aye. Thank you. Our first item is Immaculate Conception Church. It's an application for a special one day license from Mall Wine, Common Victuals, and Entertainment. Hello. Uh, please state your name and address for the record, please. Uh, my name is uh, George Daniel Lancel. I am the administrator of the Immaculate Conception Church, and I also run the school. Uh, we're going to have a pot of cold dinner for parents and parishioners, and that's why we're asking. On uh, March 11th, 2017, and it's going to be from 6 to 10 p.m. Yeah. Great, thank you. Any uh, questions from the commission? Well, look, this is this is the same event you have every year, isn't it? Correct. And it's all going to be run the same and right. clear in line. Mm -hmm. the same. Yeah. You know, it's a great event. I look forward to it every year. Yeah, absolutely. Great, thank you. Any other questions? Are there any proponents that want to speak on behalf of the parish? Hearing and seeing none, I, uh, are there any opponents? Hearing and seeing none, I'll, I'll make a motion to approve. Is there a second to I'll that motion? I'll second the motion. Um, Thank you. Thank you so much. Item two is Toronto's Bakery and Cafe LLC. This is an application for transfer of confidential license. Please state your name and I'm just for record, please. Ralph Toretta, uh, 61 Everett, Rio. Can you tell us what uh, you're planning to do? It's just a um, license for a bakery retail. Okay. And you're uh, transferring the license from Salvatore's Ice Cream Inc. to what? Yeah, that was my dad's company. Okay. And we had to switch it over to a, a new, the new name, Toretta's Bakery and Cafe. So, so it's, it's the same operation, just a um, different name <coughs> for tax purposes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I don't have any questions. Any questions? Great business. Uh, are there any opponents, pro proponents, that want to speak on behalf of this establishment? Here and seeing none of it, are there any opponents? Here and seeing none, is there a motion on the table? Motion to approve. I'll second the motion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Item number three is Saber Peruvian Fusion, Inc. This is an application for transfer of a malt wine restaurant license. Mr. Chairman, yes, members of the commission, Joseph Cotogio, on Spring Street Review. Uh, representing the applicant, the, the application was actually filed by attorney Jay Satin, who's out of uh, state right now, so I'm covering this hearing for him. Uh, the application is for the transfer of an existing uh, beer and wine license uh, at uh, the uh, Antonella's restaurant on Broadway, uh, along with the application for an entertainment license uh, for non live music and uh, cable television. Uh, the uh, beer and wine license application and the uh, information that was contained has one error. Uh, you can note that the Monday to Thursday hours uh, requested and listed as three to five. Uh, that obviously should be, uh, not obviously, but it should be three to nine, which are the standard uh, dinner hours. Uh, that was a mistake. Um, that listed it uh, only for two hours, so we're hoping that that can be uh, corrected without too much trouble. Um, with regard to the rest of it, uh, we have an experienced restaurateur uh, who's applying and taking over uh, for uh, the Antonella uh, family, um, uh, the Rubino family, I should say. Um, uh, he has uh, opened uh, and had restaurants in the area before. Uh, the license has existed there uh, for a couple of years without any incident. Uh, the location is, uh, is very nice. We're not looking to increase the seating. Um, all the hours and would hope that the uh, application could be approved. Great. And my understanding is, is you're waiting on some approvals from the... From yes, there are, there are there were some alterations interior on the uh, uh, cooking. The stove is being uh, upgraded. Um, so there are um, reviews by the fire department, Board of Health, uh, all of which have, are in the process and we would comply obviously with all of this. The, the license transfer condition loan, those approvals would be no problem at all. Thank you. Any questions from the commission? Any no questions? <laughs> uh, great, thank you very much. 
Are there any opponents that want to speak on behalf of this establishment? Here in seeing none, are there any opponents? Here in seeing none. I'll make a motion to uh, a transfer subject to uh, contingent upon the um, approval of uh, the inspection of services. I'll second that. So, thank you. All in favor say aye. Item number four is Beach Lawn VFW Post 6712. This is an application for a change of the manager. Station name and address for the record, please. Francis Matt, 106 Board Avenue. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your last name. Matt, M E T T. Matt, great. Mr. Matt, um, are you um, currently the manager or are the new manager coming in? I'm the new coming in, sir. Okay, great, thank you. Um, any questions from the commission? I'm familiar with both of them. They go through a great show, so I'm sad to see Mr. Rogerio leaving. Is he still going to be at this club? Yes, I am. He will. And everything will be the same. Nothing's going to change. The only thing that's going to change is my name from his name to my name. I'm sure you'll do a great job. I'm going to try it. Thank you. Are there any proponents that want to speak on behalf of this establishment? Are there any seeing none? Are, they, are there any opponents? Are there any seeing none? Is there a motion on the table? I'll make a motion to approve. Is there a second? That motion? I'll second. I'll make a phase the aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Item number five is a hearing. Uh, a hearing to address license commission's concern with renewal of the lodging house license at 194 Shirley F. This station even address for the record. Yes, that was where it was 72 far up from the side is passing. Great. My understanding is uh, through the through the fire department and building services that you uh, pull things together in that uh, year in compliance. Yeah, I did the swings so. <coughs> I did the swings. Oh, you did? Okay. Um I see it? Sure. And then just make sure you're in compliance when you come back to you by the 
by the next meeting because if you're not, then you force us to to make take some kind of action that you know I'm sure that you don't want to. That would be wrong. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Communications. Oh, actually, let's point me to the next question. Sure. Sorry. Please state your name, Madam. Excuse me. Are you going to speak about rentals? I just, I just have one question. He well, said I think he everything was present. done, but the smokestack is still not up. That's an issue with the building department, and you are going to have to have the building department. If we don't get something from the building department, then uh, there's nothing we can do. If they approve it, then we approve the license. If they don't, we can't approve it. So but you're saying it's not the fire department, now we're back to the building department? Well, I, you know, I'm not sure. We don't handle, I don't handle that anyways. Yeah. But I don't want to speak on this issue if Mr. Gaten is left. Right, right now, right now, um, they're in the process of of um, taking on. care of all of those outstanding items. I suggest that you, you take that up with the building department and, and find out exactly where they stand on that because we just don't have that, that information. We can only go by what is on on the list given to us by the inspection services. So, just so that we're all clear, he failed his inspection, but you've allowed him to operate. We've we based, based off the fire permit. We've based no, we've based our information off approval, temporary approval by the fire department. And that's why we're we're making that decision at this point in time. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Following licenses uh, have resolved their issues with the inspection services, and uh, they are up for uh, license renewal approval. Uh, the list is as follows: Riviera Lodge, Loyal Order of Moose Two Seven. I'll do that. After. I want to get this out of the way. Yeah, the Royal Order, Riviera Lodge, Loyal Order of the Moose One Two Seven Two. Cinco de Mayo doing businesses, Pancho Vila's Mexican restaurant, Burbank Inc. Full Rack doing businesses, Full Rack Smokehouse, RK and E Corp doing businesses, BK's Bar and Grill, Cafeteria Las Delicias, Colombianas, and Takara Eucalypto 2 Corporation. Is there a motion to approve? Motion to approve. I'll second. All in favor say aye. The, the next one is a, is a, a late renewal. It's R and R Shirley F Realty. Is there a motion to approve that license? Motion to approve. All in favor say aye. That's a second uh, motion. I'll second. All in favor say aye. And then there are two uh, licenses that are in the process of being worked out that we're extending to uh, the next meeting, which is March fifteenth. Is that correct? Yes. And that's Patsy's Inc. doing business as Renzo's Brick Oven Pizza, and the Mirage Inc. doing business with Mir as the Mirage Restaurant. Are they being called the next Yes, we will. We will call them. Uh, we'll call both in uh, for the next meeting. Um, they are in the process of working out those issues with with um, inspectional services, and should have resolution by next meeting. Okay. Communications. Um, notice of informational hearing from Massachusetts Alcohol Alcoholic Beverage Control Commission to determine whether the license application of Beach Hospitality LLC should be approved or disapproved. Hearing date set for Wednesday, February 8, 2017 at 2 p.m. 
Notice of uh, continued hearing from the EBCC to determine if the Sons of Rivera doing business as the Sons of Rivera has violated laws and regulations by permitting gambling. Hearing date is set for Tuesday, April 11, 2017 at 2.30 p.m. Notice of continued hearing from ABCC to determine if the Revere Lodge 1171 of the BPOE of the USA Inc. has violated laws and regulations by permitting gambling. Hearing dates set for uh, Tuesday, April 18, 2017 at 10 a.m. Notice from the ABCC approving the application for the wine and malt liquor uh, license off-premises license from Mahavir Enterprises doing business as convenient market in Delhi. Notice of ABCC approving the application for an all-alcohol general on-premises license for the Speakeasy Sports Bar doing business as the Speakeasy Sports Bar. Advisory from the ABCC regarding recorking of unfinished bottles of wine that were purchased with meals. In addition to hotels and restaurants, unfinished wine may now be recorked by licensed taverns, clubs, and war veterans organizations. Notice from the ABCC approve, approving the application for an all alcohol restaurant license for Beach Hospitality LLC. Uh, notice of continued hearing from ABCC to determine, in, to determine if RKNE Corp doing business as PK's Bar and Grill has violated laws and regulations by permitting gambling. New hearing date is set for Tuesday, May 9, 2017 at 10.30 a.m. A late communication advisory from ABCC regarding serving wine in private clubs. These are late license renewals for 2017. Uh, common victuals license, the bagel bin, Dritta's food, doing business as Snake's Place, Morris Shanna, Callian, and Avery Shanna, doing business as Banana Boat, and Thomas Burgers, LLC. Is there, a, is there a motion to approve those licenses? Motion to approve. Second that? Second that. Say aye. Thank you. Entertainment license, the Bagel Bin Inc. 207 Shirley Ave. Is there a motion to approve that license? Motion to approve. Second. I'll second. All in favor say aye. Class 2 motor vehicle license, Joseph J. McDonough doing business as Joseph J. McDonough and Associates, and Joseph A. DeFeo doing business as City Auto Sales. So motion to approve the motor vehicle. Second time? I'll second. Um, class 1 motor vehicle license. The biker's outfit is ink. Is there a motion to approve the motor vehicle? Class 1 license. Motion to approve. Second on it? I'll second. I'll second. I'll second. Uh, second hand dealers, Andrew Sika doing business as uh, Suffolk Pond. Uh, is there a motion to approve that license? Motion to approve. Second. second. I'll second. I'll second. And lastly, um, Pond Brothers, Andrew Seekin doing business as Suffolk Pond. Uh, I'll make a motion to approve. Is there a second to that motion? I'll second. Well, say that. Great. Our next meeting is. March 15th. Excuse me? March 15th. Our next meeting is scheduled for Wednesday, March 15th. Is there a second to that motion? To, uh, motion to adjourn. Is there a second to that? I'll second. Well, I'll say that. Thank you.